is jumping for the wand faster. For those of you who don't know what wand I'm talking about, I'm talking about the wand that you get when you beat the castle in Mario Brothers 3. The overworld castles, there's seven of them, but when you beat the boss, the wand drops from the top of the screen. Right? Now you can jump and grab that wand early and start the animation faster, or you can stand on the ground and grab the wand late as possible, start the animation a little later. The real question is, is it faster? Now, most people know the answer to this question, some people don't, but nobody knows the answer as to why. Like, what exactly is going on? Now, like, how do you know for sure, Mitch? How do you know that it's faster? You grab the wand earlier, the animation starts faster. So how do you know for sure? Well. Let's do a video on it. Let's jump right in. I don't want to waste any time. We're not going to go into crazy descriptions. We're going to we're going to load up a timer. We're going to test them all and then we're going to see what is truly the fastest. So let's just go right now. OK, so now that we have our timer in the bottom left and we're we're right here ready. First thing we're going to do is we're going to jump and grab the wand and we're going to start the timer as soon as I grab the wand and then we're going to stop the timer as soon as the king grabs the wand. We're gonna go nice and slow here. We're not gonna do anything fancy. We're gonna just stomp on him. Okay, get him done. We're gonna try and jump for the wand here. So we start the timer. Do, 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 do. Okay. So that right there is a very interesting thing to note. And then we're gonna stop the timer right there. Let's uh, let's just go with a flat 18. I mean, I could have started later, early, you, you never know. Well, so far we have an 18.23 for that. So let's reload the save state and let's do that one more time. Except we're gonna grab the wand from the bottom. We're gonna grab it on the ground here, right here. Now we'll see if it's faster or slower. Just imagine, dude, just imagine this is somehow slower and we've all been wrong this whole time. I'm worried, it's getting close to 18 seconds. 17.7. Now, I bet a lot of you didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it does. So here is the exact reason why it's slower versus faster. So first thing to note is that the wand has, you know, X amount of speed while it's falling down on the top of the screen. So as the wand is falling right here, so as the wand is falling, the wand has a faster speed falling down the screen than Mario does once he has the wand. The idea is to have the wand fall down most of the screen as opposed to Mario. So the wand falls fast there, right? Now once you grab the wand, when the clouds pop up and it's like flickering and flashing, Mario is gonna fall off the screen as well. Now Mario falling here is slower than the wand. See that? He's much slower. And the king doesn't appear until Mario hits a certain point below the screen and then it starts. And that's exactly why grabbing the wand on the ground is faster than you grab it in the air. However, there is something that I'm not sure a lot of you have seen. It's called the off-screen wand grab and it contradicts everything that we're talking about. And let me show you. Okay, so now that I'm here and, and the timer stopped and we have time, there is a trick that you can actually do only in a couple airships. And what it involves is you have to do a wall jump on the side of the wall here. Okay, and once you, once you execute the wall jump and nail it, it'll allow you to jump up and actually land on this I guess beam would be the right would be the right word to call it. You 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 land and stand on the beam, and it actually lets you stand there. So I'm gonna try and get the wall jump here just so I can show you. You can stand. And I've never really done an in-depth description of this before, so this is gonna be nice for a lot of people who don't understand what's happening. Okay, so you see how I landed a wall jump? Where am I? I'm on top of the far right wooden beam. As you can see, I'm shooting down. Right? It's so insane that they let you do this. Now, the way that this benefits is that if I kill the boss and get this jump before the wand falls, if I jump to the center of the screen, right there, pretty much where I just was, where the wand grabs, if I grab it at the top of the screen, I will actually screen wrap, so it'll think that Mario is at the bottom of the screen. So let me try and show you guys uh, um, me doing it properly. Ah, 
All right, as you can see, I grabbed the wand at the top of the screen, and you're gonna notice something that didn't happen before. Now that I have it, we're gonna do the screen wrap. Mario's gonna fall not far at all, as you can clearly see. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how much time an off-screen wand grab would save you. Okay, let's take a look. Now, we're not gonna be able to get the perfect timing for when you grab the wand, because obviously grabbing the wand, obviously grabbing the wand at the top of the screen is much faster than grabbing it at the bottom screen. So that distance alone right there is also a time save if you pull it off. Um, and we can actually time it. So let's, let's go ahead and time it right now. So we're gonna start the timer when the wand appears. So it's a little bit less than a second. It's not that much time. I'm, I'm gonna say 0.75 or something. But let's get the real gritty time of the off-screen wand grab. Perfect timing. That was great. All right. And what was the fastest one we had? It was like 17.7 or something. Look at that instant. Boom. 14.2. So from jumping and grabbing the wand in the middle of the screen versus off-screen wand grab, whew, it's about four seconds. We're, we're looking at a solid three and a half, four second plus grabbing the wand early. Juicy time save. It's huge. And you could pull it off in a couple worlds. Good luck. And that is the fastest way. So to answer the question, is jumping for the wand faster? And the answer is yes. It always has been. It always has been. But you have to do that. What I just showed you, that's exactly what you have to do. So who's ready to do their first off-screen wand grab? It's not that bad. All you have to do is do Big Mario wall jump, perfectly time an off-screen jump, and grab the wand at the center of the screen before it falls down a couple pixels too late. That's it. If you grab it a couple pixels too late, there's a little bit of room, but if you grab it too late, you're gonna drop from the top of the screen all the way down. You're gonna lose maximum amount of time. Not needed in runs. You definitely don't need, don't need to do this, but it is a really fun, difficult trick to do, and it's really cool when you pull it off. So, yeah. Is uh, jumping for the wand faster or slower? It's faster. There's no denying it, so. Uh, I hope you guys learned something, and thanks for watching. Whee!